Oh man. Oh man. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, dude. Honestly, to be all honestly to all of you right now, like um I was not ready for this episode, okay? Cause it was the final one and one of the nicest things I have enjoyed up to, to this life to this lifetime right now, dude. Like I did not expect it to end it that way, but at the same time I'm actually satisfied to be honest. Like I'm very glad to see how like um JoJo became one of my one of the craziest series that I've ever watched. In other cases, I think this really deserves to be on my top ten of all time that I have ever seen for a while, you know? But besides all that, let's just start this final final review and my final thoughts on the series and then I have a tribute um song for it, you know? So if anything else, let's go. Okay, um at the beginning we have to it that Dio took Jo Jojo's blood, you know, and this was a bad move and this was a bad thing and Jo and Jojo's spirit goes up go departs from the body and warns Jotaro don't get too angry right now Jotaro if you attack randomly and not thinking and knowing that you can move and move a little bit in time you could be able to like um get out of it but if you attack recklessly you'll be in trouble and therefore Jojo departs to heaven and this really upsets Jotaro and he gets ready to clash against Dio once more you know and then by that time we see to it that um Jo that Jotaro flies up and later on Dio stops time and ends up messing with him you know and jo Jotaro managed to move a little bit and managed to damage Dio's hand however he heals up really quickly and therefore punches Jojo really really hard etc you know and I'm thinking in my mind oh my gosh dude no no this can't be happening and then Jotaro <coughs> is on <coughs> the ground and then Dio stops time again and therefore he decides to go grab something and Jotaro knows that he only has a couple seconds you know and later on Dio actually had a big old bulldozer ramming down on Jotaro and I'm thinking in my mind no 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 Bo but he tries to punch it with oh no 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 but it was useless and then boom I went no 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 you you can't do this to me and then jo however Dio after announcing his speech and so forth he couldn't move and Joe Tar was like I managed to stop time a bit in nine seconds and I'm like hold on Joe Taro has that ability too surprisingly like um it's told um by Joe Taro like um his stand and Dio stand so well though is like the same thing and therefore Joe Taro after a couple couple things about saying I have no pity for you no compassion he breaks Dio's legs and throws him down he says let's see here I'm gonna enjoy beating the crack out of you you hear me and therefore we see to it that um Jotaro is about to make his final 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 move you know and Dio makes his final move as well they both attack each other Dio uses his leg and then uses a kick while Jotaro uses a punch with all of his might Jo Jotaro's fist was like cracking up due to Stan's power and then like um Dio ends up bursting into energy and dies out you know and Jotaro told Dio already there's only one simple thing you messed up on you pissed me off pretty much I think in my mind holy dang that's gotta be something crazy right here and there you know I actually had a great time and enjoyment seeing that therefore Jotaro with the ambulance says here, how about this? We transferred some blood to from Dio to um my grandfather because he stole some blood minutes ago. And I was thinking about hours, but no. And therefore, Jotaro decides to help out by like um put m moving um JoJo's heart, you know, put it on back on pulse. And therefore, managed to do that and transfers Dio's blood. However, the bad thing is is that um it looks like Dio took over. Jojo's body. I think in my mind, are you kidding me? But jo Jojo's like kidding around, and then Jotaro decides to ask him a couple questions before he was about to attack him. And therefore, um, Jotaro managed to, um, let me see here. And Jojo managed to s say the right answers here and there, and therefore, 
Jotaro and Jojo put Dio's body in the sunset and it finally crumbles to dust. You know, it, it's really, really sad to be honest with you. Seeing how, like, um, Abadel, Iggy, and Kakoin are really gone, which is okay, you know, because, like, um, I'll be honest with you, I was, like, um, on the verge of wanting to cry out right now, like, um, seeing that they're gone, but it did what it had to do. I mean, like, um, one of my. One of the series that I have to enjoy a lot, you know. As for Polonorf, they say the goodbyes, you know, and Polonorf says he has to. Ha I need to go back to France, you know. I have many memories there. As Jojo did offer him a chance to go with him to New York because it'll be lonely, but they all give the hugs and goodbyes and go to a plane while um, Holly or Jotaro's mother is better and she says they're coming home, you know, that kind of thing. And therefore, Jotaro looks at the picture he took with. Polonarf, Iggy, Avidel, along with his grandfather himself, dude, I was on the verge of crying once more, and then it ends off with, with the plane going back to where, going back to Holly or Jotaro's mother, and so forth, you know. Now, um, this series right here, from the very beginning, I started season one, which I'm really glad I did, and then end up, and I end up watching Stardust Crusaders to that, and then going to part two of Stardust Crusaders. Dude, I do not know, I don't know how to feel right now because, you know, it's been a long, long time. Never thought I had so much fun with it every Friday. Every Friday, I will be having fun because of JoJo, you know? Seeing how it gives me this hype and then this feeling within it, you know? You know, you all could say whatever you want to say. Call me crazy. Call me nuts and bolts. I know. I I, I suck at reviewing, you know. I'll, you all could tell me that. I don't even... I'll admit to that. I'm giving this second season 10 out of 10, alright? Like, literally... It may be an old, old series, but guarantee the way how it's done, you know, it, it, it almost surpasses a lot of shonen, shonen elements, alright? I don't know much about Shonen, but I've seen a lot already to understand some of it, you know? It surpasses a lot, which I'm really glad to see. And seeing how, like, um, it did this and that for me and gave me excitement, gave me these kinds of feels, you know, on this final episode and so forth, gives me a lot, a lot of things. Now, I'm pretty sure y'all be telling me, what's this tribute song you want to give it to, you know? Now, I'll let y'all know, it is from, like, a... Certain it is from a certain song, of course, it came out many months ago, or should I say two months ago, but I decided to make it my own way, you know, and I actually had trouble, like, I'm trying to do this, you know, but either way, like, um, if you don't like it, you don't like it, but hopefully, like, I'm not, it's just like a, a little something that I like to call, like, a tribute song to JoJo, you know, just my own lyrics here and there, just like, um, let's just begin, JoJo, you've been a fantastic... <laughs> Fantastic series for me. For some reason, I, I think you deserve to be in one of my top 10 of all time I've ever seen. Hopefully, you can stay on that thing. And if anything else, um, it's one of the nicest series that I've ever seen in my life. So, I'd like to tribute this to you, Jotaro. Uh, to, jo to you, Jojo. I really hope like um, you continue having another anime series because I heard like um you guys are on a roll right now. But if anything else, let's begin. It's been a long day. Know that you ended, and now I'm going to miss you when you are gone away. Hey, we've come a long way from the journey we had, and I will be crying hard without you knowing that I am bad right here now. <clears throat> Why did you have to go? Why did you have to leave? You're the best series that I've ever seen I'll carry on I will be strong on the end of time Until then we meet I'll see you once again in the future times that we see So this is farewell My best friend Jojo Never will I forget your adventures every Friday We've come a long way from where we began I can hope you tell me your adventures when I see you again in time I see When I see you again When 
I see you again. This is my tribute to JoJo, which has been one of the best series that I have ever seen. That needs that probably needs to be on my top ten that I ever that I for all time for me. Okay. Now I let you all know, like um, this is just a tribute song for JoJo. Okay, that I just did. I know it's bad, horrible, whatever you want to say, but I know some lyrics I just said, you know. But hey. It's just a little something I want to say for JoJo, okay? I love this series very much, and I thought it wouldn't, uh, it wouldn't be bad. Why? It wouldn't be so bad to try to make some kind of song out of it. And I know it's from "I S See You Again" from Charlie and Wiz, you know. But you know, like um, it's just a little something. I decided to change up some lyrics here and there. I'm to let you all know this is this is this, the credit go the credit should go to um Charlie and Wiz anyway. But I love I love that song very much. That I thought I might give a tribute to um. Jojo, you know, so yeah, love Jojo very much, you know, I'm gonna miss it very much, I hope you guys had fun, um, with the series as much as I did, I hope, like, we could get another anime series, because I'm pretty sure there's more to it than just this Stardust Crusaders, you know, and it's been a fun, fun ride, to be honest with you, I'm gonna miss it very much, as much as I'll miss everything else, you know, um, that's about it, people, my final thoughts and final review on Jojo, ends today ends and i miss you jojo i hope to see you again someday i'm alpha zero have a good day and i'll see you guys next time all right peace out bye bye